Hi everybody, our daughter recently graduated to using a high chair and like a lot of people, we ended up getting the Graco Slim Snacker, which is Amazon's choice on Amazon. The seat cover can come off to be washed. Unfortunately, there are no instructions for removal or installation of the seat cover provided in the manual with the high chair and based on the Amazon Q&A section, a lot of people have trouble with this and personally, I spent a ton of time trying to figure it out. So I decided to make this video to save you all the hassle. So here we go. So we'll start with the removal of the seat cover, obviously, and I want to start with an overview of the connection points on the chair, just so you know what I'm talking about. So we have the folding handle over here, which has this black buckle that the strap is attached to, and you're going to want to remove that, and I'll show that later. Now I'll flip the chair. On the bottom, you've got two plastic tabs, and there's two elastic bands on these little gray rivets, and you've got two cloth tabs in the back and then there's two cloth tabs in the sides one on this side and one on the other side and finally there's another elastic band over here looped over a metal hook that's on the seat cover itself and then if you look in the back you have the seat cover sitting over the reclining handle now you also have five straps so four of them are attached in the back and one of them is attached in the bottom of the chair. So first let's start with the folding handle. This buckle has one long side and one short side. So if you pull it a little bit, you'll see that there's a little gap in here. And once you pull it off the short side, you can actually just have it come off. So you can see that there's a long side and a short side. So now the handle is off. You can take this string and pull it down through here. And there's a little slit in the chair cover that you have to pull it through. There's also one on the other side, so you just kind of push this thing through the slit over here and pull it out the other side. Okay, so that's the folding handle. Now for the next part, I'm going to flip the chair over. Okay, so there's the two plastic tabs. You simply pull those off of these gray rivets. You take the elastic bands, pull them off. These cloth tabs, you just have to take this thread apart and push it flat so you can push it through the slits in the chair. Okay. Now you've got these cloth tabs on, on the side of the seat cover. Same thing, you just push it flat and through the slit in the chair. Same thing for the other side. And then you have an elastic band that goes around this plastic piece over here and it's attached to a metal hook. So you just pull the elastic band off of the hook and it comes right off. Same thing on the other side. And finally, you can pull the seat cover off of the reclining handle, pull it over. And then you simply have to push the straps through. Now, one thing to notice is see what height you're using the shoulder straps on because there's two different slits that you can push them through. So you got the shoulder straps, the hip straps, and the bottom strap. So that's the seat cover. Throw that over there. You can also remove the straps for, for washing. And the straps, just like those cloth tabs I showed, you simply have to push the threaded part flat and then push it through the slits or pull it through the slits. And again, notice what height you're doing the shoulder straps on. So the straps come off. Same thing for these straps. Now I saw a video where the guy was like, oh, these straps come off the same as the other straps. The hip straps are actually pretty hard to get because this is a much thicker piece of cloth. So you really have to push it flat and kind of like push first the bottom side through and then pull the top side through. And you gotta give it a good yank and a push. See, it ain't easy. That guy was cheating. Just edit it. Okay. Same thing over here. Push push it kind of at an angle. 
and then push the top part in and then you've got to kind of jiggle it a little bit and eventually you'll get it out and finally the bottom strap is attached over here so just push that flat pull it out and you're good to go so that was the seat removal that's the easy part now the tricky part is putting it back in so we'll start we'll just kind of go backwards we'll start with the bottom strap so you just again push it flat push it through and then pull it from the other side and just kind of tug on it to make sure that it's actually in place then we do the hip straps and again these are the thick ones now before you put them in you got to check that the side you're putting it in goes in see that'll snap in one side but if you put it on the other side no bueno so make sure that it's snapping into the side you want to put it in before you put it in believe me i've made that mistake so again put it a little bit at an angle from the top part so you can have something to grab and then that goes right in tug it other side if you just have ocd you can snap it in to make sure that it works and again a little bit of an angle so you can see on the other side you want to be seeing like a little bit of this triangle so you have something to grab otherwise it's hard to grab that actually makes this much easier and then you tug it make sure that it's in place and then you've got the shoulder straps these ones you can just make sure that it you know sits right i want to do it on the lower one for ours so pull that then we got the second shoulder strap just make sure that this is in the front so that you can actually adjust it and that's the straps we bring the seat cover first we'll want to feed through all the straps so i'll start with the shoulder straps feed them through the appropriate slit in the seat cover the hip straps only have one slit each so there's no confusion here and then the bottom strap goes in here so just tug them all the way through now next is the trickiest part so i recommend doing this now while not a lot of things are uh, connected and so if you look up here you can see that there's a groove and in this groove there's four little holes so the side holes are for these elastic tabs and the middle holes are for the plastic tabs start with the elastic tabs i'm going to flip this over hold this thing straight while you push it through so get that and then pull it over this gray piece okay and then do the other elastic band side let me use a pen that helps to just grab it okay the plastic tabs are much easier so you just push them through their holes and over the plastic pieces so that's the tricky part once you've got that done everything else is a lot easier so there are cloth tabs in the back side of the seat and they need to go into this little slit over here so there's one on this side and one on the other side so you want to do this part actually with the with the chair not connected onto the uh, reclining lever so you can have easy access to these cloth tabs you got to push them flat and push them through these slits in the back and then pull and make sure that it gets um, caught correctly same thing on the other side pull it through all right and that's it you're good to go so now you can actually put this thing over the back next we want to do these little side pieces so you have a little cloth tab over here and there's a little ring under under the Graco mark on each side so you just slide that through and pull make sure that it gets caught same thing on the other side and then we have these elastic bands so you open this up to the back and bring it from the bottom to the top over this little rounded area so pull it across bring it over and then hook it on the metal hook 
and then same thing on the other side bring it from here pull it across the top and hook it on the metal hook finally we've got the folding handle so for the folding handle you have a slit in the bottom here you just push it through did you see this one? you have a little slit here in the bottom of the cover you push it through and pull it out the other side on the other side you've got the string with the black buckle and again there's a little slit here on the bottom so you just push pull it through that slit and then to reconnect it so you want to first go over the long part and that'll allow you to kind of push it in and hook it over the short part so you go over the long part and then kind of force it in the gap there make sure that it's good again make sure all your straps are pulled through completely and you can check that your folding handle works correctly et voila simple easy peasy if you got value out of this video please give it a like and consider watching more of my videos thank you all for your time